three quotes today from this book, The Alchemist, which is a book about human spirituality, not about religion spirituality or some community worship sort of thing, but about our own human spirits, which is something we seem to be massively struggling with in today's society. It seems our own human spirits are the most distracted and deprived of our own fulfilling needs in day-to-day -day life. Ultimately, I think we lack a sense of deeper purpose, fulfillment, and deeper connection to those around us and the world around us. These are of many reasons why the status quo today is unhealthy, despite being in a world which we have more abundance of resources and access to resources than ever before. So as we're talking about the three quotes today from The Alchemist, I want you to think about how might our own lives be better, be more fulfilling if we let our souls or let our own human spirits come alive more. And if we listen to our own gut feelings, listen to our heart and follow our own personal legend. Courage is the quality most essential to understanding the language of the world. First up, the deeper meaning behind that, that I think there is so much importance on courage and being courageous and fostering bravery to act out what we believe in and do what we say we're going to do. And courage is essential to living. To live is to tell the truth. To live is to act out the truth, our own personal truths, our own personal legends. If we aren't courageous, we can't do that. And every time we fail to be courageous in certain moments that's calling on us to be courageous, it seems like a little part of us dies. It seems like we become lesser of ourselves, that we fail or we missed an opportunity. We can have certain failures in which we have just, you know, truly we try, but we missed the mark. But we can also have failures in which we never even tried in the first place at all. And to have courage is to try and fail and you learn from that. But if we aren't courageous, then we fail to even take action in the first place. So to have courage is what causes us to take action in life, to be intentional about certain things. And if we want to follow our own personal legends, to follow our own dreams in life, we have to be courageous in order to do so. Now, a little context about where this is at in the story. The boy has been the main character. The boy has been so far in his journey already. He's in the desert. He's just about to find the pyramids. He's met some other people in life that have settled with their personal legends and failed to truly be courageous and take that leap of faith and try to follow their personal legends. He has almost done that himself in which he got robbed and felt like he had to just sit and work at a, a, a crystal shop selling glassware. He is now at a point which he was able to take that leap of faith again after starting the journey, after getting robbed, take another leap of faith, continue on his journey. And now he's in the desert and he's so close to finding out what this treasure is, but yet he's met with this grandiose figure riding in on the horse with a scabbard pointing at his head, drawing a little bit of blood. It's like death riding in on a horse. It's challenging him. This is almost a test right at the very end of the journey that, you know what, are you actually going to stand up for what you believe in? Because if you aren't going to do that, then the treasure may not mean anything. We also come to learn that this figure on the horse is the alchemist. The alchemist is challenging him to become his best self, to act out what he believes in. This is a test of faith in which is he going to stand up for himself and truly say what he's actually doing, tell the truth about his journey of what he's doing? Because in the past, he's also done that to some other random strangers and they laughed at him and he laughed along with them like, haha, yeah, you know, what am I doing here? actually, but this is a point which the boy can actually stand up and truly have an act of faith and stand up for himself and stand up for what he believes in, which leads us to that question, you know, what if we all did that exact same thing? You know, there's moments in your life where you know that you probably could have stood up for yourself and, and truly said what you believed in, but maybe you didn't, maybe you felt like you, you held back a little bit, maybe you just didn't do anything at all, maybe you did say something, but it really wasn't the truth, but ultimately, what if we truly never lied to ourselves? How much of a different life would we live? And if you're young like me, we have ideas ideally like 60, 70, 80 years ahead of us to become so much more than we are. So it's so important while we're young to truly figure out a right direction to head in. The direction shapes up the rest of our life. If we have a slightly different direction, we're going to end up somewhere completely different at the end of our lives. Naturally, it's afraid that in pursuing your dream, you might lose everything you've won. Tell your heart that the fear of suffering is worse than the suffering itself. This is so important for us trying to actually follow our personal legends because realistically, logically, our brain is telling us and our brain is thinking, we see all the risk, all the uncertainty ahead of us, and there is a great chance of failure and a great chance to lose everything we move on. We might die. As serious as that is, you know, that is a possibility because we don't know what the future holds. But for whatever reason, that holds us back from even trying in the first place. Yet on the other hand, truly coming down to it, the fear is often worse than the experience of actually trying. 
I think the most important thing to realize with this is that in our lives so far, every risk, every attempt at trying something new that we've had up until this point, we've been able to manage those failures and still come to where we are today. So if you take one more risk, if you take one more failure, even if you do end up actually failing at that thing, you still have the ability to continue moving forward and to still put one foot in front of the other. It's that fear that's often worse than the actual experience of doing the thing. That's whatever it is, your personal legend, your dream, your leap of faith. We have such a worse experience in our heads than we actually do in reality. And if we're able to detach from that, that yes, you know, logically it is important to not take any crazy unnecessary risk, but at the same time, for the risks that are really meaningful to us, and for the risks that are in front of our own personal legends, our own dreams, it's important to confront that. It's important to take action on that. But we shouldn't let the fear inhibit us from actually doing so. Fear will always be with us as well. You know, the more you even think about that anxiety or that fear, the worse it may even get. But at the same time, we can become more courageous. We can build ourselves up to become bigger than our fears or our anxieties. We can become more than that which holds us back. And I think that is such a profound idea and such a profound quality of being human. That yes, we do have limitations, but we can grow beyond them and we can become more than we are. And that all is a perfect segue into quote number three. That's what alchemists do. They show that when we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. And that's where the power of love comes in. Because when we love, we always strive to become better than we are. I personally think there is no better argument for personal development or for self-improvement for you to invest in that than for the simple fact of doing it for others. By being your best self, by just simply being you, you will automatically, inherently improve the lives of other people around you. I think that idea alone can really give us a sense of belonging and a sense of purpose around the world around us and the people around us. That it is my responsibility to not only self-actualize for my own well-being, but for the betterment of other people as well. And by not self-actualizing, I must also somehow be negatively impacting the other people around me as well. We should all strive to lift each other up, and it's important to realize that by me becoming better, that doesn't mean that you also can't become better as well. It's quite the opposite. If I become better, then you also can become better too. The book is called The Alchemist, I think, all around this idea that if we follow our own personal legends, if we follow our own personal dreams in the pursuit of self-actualization, we make the world better. And especially if you're young, there's so many reasons to be concerned about our future and to have despair about, you know, why should I even try? Because it seems like the future ahead of us looks pretty, pretty damn dark. I ain't gonna lie. But ultimately, I truly personally believe we are too young to be losing hope on these dreams and on these, at least the potential for us to self-actualize. We are too young to be letting despair win this one for us to seem like there's no even reason for trying. That I think there is always a reason for us to try. And that really is what love is. That's what self-love is, is that it's always, you know, even if the future looks dark, to love is to realize the potential that there's always a reason for us to try. There is always a possibility for us to try. And I think ultimately with all these ideas of this book encapsulated into one it's that no matter how many times you do let despair win you let your fears win you let anxieties win you can always find hope again and you can always pursue your own personal legend and you can always aim up and try to build yourself up at becoming a better person and when we do that and when we do that out of the goodness simply of the world around us and the goodness of other people that's what loving really is to improve yourself is to love yourself. To improve the world around you is to love the world around us. And to not do that, I think, is doing a disservice to what it means to be human. We have a quality for love, and we can we can show that even if something doesn't look like it is realistic, we can still try because we can have the hope that it is realistic one day. If you also really enjoyed The Alchemist got a lot out of it and you have some other interpretations or some quotes you found really valuable, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. As always, let me know some other book recommendations. I'd love to read more. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. Thank you for giving your time. Thank you for supporting. You mean so much to me right now, actually, in the early stages of YouTube and growing this. Your support now means 10 times the support it does a year from now. It really does. You are truly an early adopter of this YouTube channel and your support, again, means so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new here, give a like and subscribe check out the other videos i got on here i'm trying to post once a week ultimately the goal is 1000 subscribers that's when you can start monetizing youtube so that's all you got from me today thanks for hanging and as always against all odds live with hope